<laughs> All right, my friends, welcome to this MIT Manzuka Tribe stretchy yoga practice. We call this the reset uh, practice where the focus is really come into the present, letting go of all the things that are distracting us, pulling us out of traction in our lives, and also to release a lot of that tension that we store in the body. And if you're familiar with a, a book called The Body Keeps the Score, then you may understand that any mental and emotional stress we have gets stored in the body. If you've ever had tight neck and shoulders when you're stressed out, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> We're going to start today in a nice seated meditation position, wherever you want to be. And if you're like, I'd rather lay down, that's cool too. And once you get there, I invite you to close your eyes and start with a nice big in-breath, no particular way. And just letting that breath go. Breathing in again. Let and go in any way that helps you release tension or stress. One more time. <laughs> and then just allowing your breath and your body to breathe you. Just letting those waves of the breath roll in, roll out. Coming into the present moment by coming into your senses. Often when we say, come with the present, it's like, what the hell does that mean? It really means coming into what's really happening in the space around you right now, objectively, free of any stories or distractions from the mind. And just noticing the sounds in the space around you and the space around me. Noticing how it's almost automatic to give explanations and stories to those sounds. You know, you can just hear the sounds. <clears throat> You're seeing the smells on the air, quality of the air, maybe it's cool, warm, damp, or dry. in your mouth. Even the sensations on your skin, like the temperature, the weight of your clothing. And all these things coming in through your outer senses. Checking in with that breath again. The natural rising and falling like waves on a shore. And I'm just noticing what's happening in your inner present moment. What tension, what feels tight, what are you holding on to? Imagining what it would be like to start softening into that, let it go, your forehead. Jaw. Even tiny muscles around your ears. Feeling like your ear canals could even relax and deepen towards the back of your mouth. <clears throat> Imagine you could relax into your mouth, your teeth, your tongue. Feeling like the roof of your mouth could expand upwards towards the top of your head. Like you could breathe that release down into your neck and shoulders. Your belly. <laughs> your hands and feet. Mm. 
letting go of any unintentional tension, any resistance to the moment that's not serving you right now. Noticing breath flowing deeply through your throat. Relax. Almost like it's flowing so deep that it could flow through your heart. Let's focus around the heart brings us into a state that's called coherence, science terms. State of centeredness in between our stress and relaxation responses in the nervous system. Breathing into the heart. Anytime your mind distracts you, taking you somewhere else, but then resisting it, just watching it. That's interesting. We're coming back to your senses and to your back at the heart. <laughs> Betty, I invite you to make your way down onto your belly. And if you want to grab, if you have a yoga block, that's great. But if you wanted to grab a pillow or like a rolled up towel or blanket or anything like that, it might be helpful too. Just set those somewhere around your mat space. You don't want them. I would say at the head of your mat. <clears throat> and taking a little push up position with your hands, wrists underneath the shoulders, put your toes straight back. And pressing over the tops of your feet from big toe to pinky toe, just notice how that activates the muscles through your thighs. And if you really commit to pressing into your pinky toe, notice how it almost opens up the space in, in the middle of your hips, that sacrum area, a little diamond, just before you get into your lower back. Using the strength of your arms just to breathe and wiggle your rib cage up away from your hips for a moment. And then laying down and even making a little metal singer or cat vomit sound a little to help us zip the front ribs in, noticing how you almost lay down in your heart once you do that. <laughs> Send your right arm out to the right hand side to a little T. You can ground your palm. That just means contacting the ground at about the height of your eyeballs, any higher or lower. And you'll get to choose based on how good or how bad this feels for your shoulder. And as you inhale, starting to roll onto your right hand side into a little chest stretch. Once you exhale, you can reach your left leg back behind you, even planting the sole of your left foot to the mat. Being mindful to avoid any pinching, any poking inside that shoulder. It will feel pretty uncomfortable, that stretch. We shouldn't feel any pain, nor down towards the elbow. <laughs> If you got your pillows or your block, or your blanket, you can take it and support your head. Now, you want to try and keep your neck in a nice neutral neck position so that it's not like you wake up at the end of a weird sleeping night with a kink in your neck. Feeling your breath flowing to the left side of your rib cage. Almost like you could only breathe through that side. Your left hand can stay planted as a little kickstand. It could even reach up and lay alongside the left side of your body. You're going to reach back behind you. <clears throat> Feeling that lengthening the right side of your chest, your right shoulder, maybe even your right bicep. Noticing any places that your mind goes when you're in the discomfort, when you're under the stress. How interesting that is. Maybe it's telling you to adjust, 
this is too hard, or maybe it's too easy. You should go harder. I'm noticing any feelings, emotions urging you to wiggle, to move, to do. Even if you can just breathe, even just one breath before you give in to any of those wiggles, any of those movements. Bring it back to that focus right around your heart, like you could feel your breath flowing deeply through this space. <clears throat> You're seeing the changes in the blood flow, bioelectricity, like your nerve impulses. Your arm might feel a little tingly, cool. How interesting. Imagine if the body is just down, head, limbs, and neck. Seems like you're sinking down into your bones. In the back of that long, slow, deep breath. Only when you're ready. Slowly, gently, no rush. Being here to release back to your belly. And just pausing there, leave your right arm out to the right hand side. You can bring your left hand underneath your forehead to rest. <sighs> just feel all that blood flow, that bioelectricity coming back in your right arm. <clears throat> If you feel inspired to take any particular movement, even if it doesn't make sense, I invite you to take that now. Maybe it's just some little shoulder shrugs, shoulder rolls. Maybe you decide to take a little reverse arm roll, keeping your right knee and right hip grounded as you reach your left arm out overhead and inhale to lift your right arm up. And rolling until your fingertips and that right hand are pointing up towards the sky. Just taking a few breaths here. Or exhaling to release back down to the mat and back to that push up position with your hands. <laughs> Just noticing how it might feel different compared to when we first did it. And when you're ready, sending your left arm out to the left hand side to a T, rounding through your left palm. And no, you, this side might be totally different from the right hand side. You might have to make adjustments on this side, and that's okay. 
On your next in breath, start to roll onto your left hand side, stretching into your left shoulder, left side of your chest, maybe even that bicep. This you exhale, reaching that right leg back behind you. Maybe if you plant the sole of your right foot, right knee pointing towards the sky, maybe you just reach that leg out. It's all good. Take in your blocks or pillows or whatever you've got to find a nice neutral supported position for the neck. <clears throat> your right hand can support you as a little kickstand. Just breathing into the right side of your rib cage. Maybe even bring your hand up there. Feeling that length reaching through your left pack, your left shoulder. Noticing with your breathing is a little challenge. Challenge. Noticing anywhere that unintended tension is popped up. When your body tries to contract, resist, and your stress, even in your forehead, jaw. Neck, shoulders, even your hands. Where's the creeping in for you? <laughs> you decide to take it further, reaching your right hand back behind you. If that doesn't feel right, if it feels forceful, you'll back out of it a little bit. The mat, the heart focus breath. This moment, When you see any roaming, time travel in the mind, any imagination. <clears throat> How interesting. Changes in sensation with the left arm and the urges to wiggle, to move, to escape. It's all good. Anything that your body is inviting you any deeper. Taking yeah. that invitation. If it feels right. On your next inhale, really unwinding back to center. No rush. 
<laughs> yes, in your head, in the back of your right hand, leave your arm out there. Just let no the after effects occur. Okay, so let me change my emotions. Let me start relieving some of the stress, attraction, gripping. If you feel inspired to take any movement, whatever that is, I invite you to take that now, even if it doesn't make sense. And often when we create time just to sit and be, the body will tell us exactly what it needs. <laughs> Maybe you decide to take that little reverse shoulder roll, reaching the right arm out overhead. Inhale through your left arm up, ground it through your left knee. Twisting into your left fingers, you're pointing up towards the sky. Taking a few breaths here. Yes, yes, yeah. Releasing back down to the mat, making your way into that push up position. Listen, how different your body feels for down in this position. In front here, you get a big inhale, sit your butt back towards your heels into a little child's pose. Your knees can be between hip and shoulder width. Then slide your feet together so your big toes are touching. I'm taking your hands for a moment to the one hand to the opposite knee. Just lift that knee up so you can unbunch any bunched up skin and fascia in your right shin. And then do the same thing on the other side. The whole body's a spider web. Any bunched up fascia and skin in one area and pull it, the other things off, everything off. <clears throat> Reaching your arms, your fingertips back out overhead. Gently stretch the mat apart between your knees. Feel like your hips say hello. And as you exhale, we're going to make that metal singer sound again that help us zip our ribs in as we lay down over the thighs. <laughs> Into what's called child's pose, the most parasympathetic or relaxing of postures. And creeping your fingertips out overhead like your zombie with no legs, feeling that length in your shoulders. And then grounding into the balls of your fingers. Imagining a little egg underneath the heel of each palm. Contact the egg, but don't crush it. And breathe into the back of your ribs. And if you can expand them like a hot air balloon up towards the ceiling. <laughs> While you're here, imagine that you could dome your arms like you could lift just your elbows towards the sky. Feeling how that lifts your arm bones deep into your shoulders, giving you some shoulder depth. Maybe you can get longer through your arms here. <laughs> Finally, imagining that there's a rubber band wrapped around your arms, your elbows, squeezing them together. Just gently press out, stretch that rubber band. Feel the space underneath your underarms activating, bringing stability to your shoulders. Just settling back into your natural breathing pattern. <laughs> Even that gentle activation, stretching the mat apart, the length, the depth, the stability through your arms, firmly. Letting go of any unintended tension through your forehead, jaw, and anywhere else. Thank you. 
Maybe your forehead comes down to rest on the floor. Maybe it doesn't. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe you feel invited to a little bit more length through your arm. To find your depth and stability again. <clears throat> Maybe your breath has deepened into the back of your ribs. Noticing what's happening right here and right now in the moment. Slowly, gently releasing by inhaling yourself up to hands and knees, nice little tabletop. And just pausing there before you move, before you wiggle, just noticing the after effects of that shape. <clears throat> you now, if you feel inspired to take any movement, whatever that is, you're ready to take it now. Maybe it's some little side to side wiggles, maybe it's some cat and cows inhaling to. Lift through your tailbone, lifting through your heart, lengthening your belly. Excellent to curl your hips under, pressing the floor away. Lifting your belly button up. <clears throat> Think of what your body's asking for right now. And when you're ready, Getting back in our tabletop, <laughs> hands and knees. Walking your hands, one hand print forward, your knees, one knee print back. Step on your left foot back, left knee lift, like you're taking a little single leg plank here. And then pressing through your palms, and floating your right knee up off the mat, a little single leg plank. And then sweeping your right knee towards the right wrist, your right ankle towards your left wrist. No grabbing your leg. Ground your right shin to the mat. We call this a pigeon shape. And then releasing your left knee, pointing your left toes straight back. You'll be here for a little while today. As you inhale, press down to the top of your left foot and into your right shin like your legs are strong and lifting you upright. And as you exhale, you can slide your left leg a little bit further back without sagging into the right or left side of your hips there. Try to keep your torso lifted, nice and strong. And one more big in breath, press down through your leg, try to stay lifted through your heart. And as you exhale, starting to hinge over, at your hips, over the right shin, trying to keep a happy tail, even bringing your forearms down to the mat or maybe pillows or blocks. Get back to that long, slow, deep breath. Releasing any unintended tension. Neck, 
shoulder than anywhere else. Come to that heart for big breath. It's in a new area, you're gripping, and you're still resisting, seeing if you can get easy into that. <clears throat> you need to start to bring your head down to the back of your hands. It's still staying strong through your hips, not sagging into one side or the other. Long through your spine without slouching anywhere. Imagine like the core of the earth pulling you down with just a little bit more gravity. Noticing any tension in your neck and shoulders and see if you can soften into it, even just a little bit. <laughs> Noticing the fluctuations in the mind starts to roll. The emotions telling you to wiggle, to move. This is uncomfortable. I'm just noticing that you're noticing those things. You can observe them. You are nothing. I'm seeing if you can just take one extra breath before you decide to move, to wiggle, to adjust. <laughs> Give in to that stress.
When you're ready, land in your hands, inhaling to lift through your torso. And as you exhale, sweeping your right knee back to the left and tabletop and just pausing. No movement just yet. No reacting, just noticing the after effects of the shape. <clears throat> And when you're ready, taking any movement that you feel inspired to take, even if it feels silly. Maybe it's some fire hydrant hip circles, looking at leg up and out to the side, circling it back behind you, trying to keep it nice and high without bending into your left elbow. Maybe it's something else. And when you're ready, back in your long tabletop. And step in your right foot back to a single leg plank shape, right knee lifted, pressing the floor away from your palms, floating your left knee up off of the mat. So, really in this single leg plank. <clears throat> and sweeping your left knee to the left wrist, your left ankle towards your right wrist without grabbing it and pulling on it. Grounding your left shin to the mat, across the mat, releasing your right knee, putting your right toes straight back in this little pigeon shape. Never seen a pigeon do this, but you know, that's what it's called. <laughs> Pressing down through the top of your right foot and into your left shin, strong through your leg, long through your spine. As you exhale, see if you can relax the legs and maybe you can slide back one centimeter, one inch into your right leg, deepening that stretch through your left hip. <clears throat> and one more time, big inhale, press down through your legs, long through your spine. And as you exhale, relax, deepen into that stretch. And see if you can start hinging at your hips, folding over your left shin, keeping a happy tail, you no know, sagging into your left or your right hip. Maybe you bring those forearms down to the mat. Yeah. <clears throat> this other side might feel like a totally different body. Here to be right side. Ah, interesting. See any unintended tension in your neck, your shoulders, your jaw. See if you can just soften into that a little bit. <laughs> Back to your heart focus, to your breath. Inviting yourself a little bit deeper when and if it feels right to accept that invitation. <laughs> Keeping a happy tail, long spine, no slouching. Releasing where that resistance, that contraction creeps back in. Now your body's still trying to resist the moment.
losing thoughts, emotions, that energy emotion begging you to move, to wiggle. Let's see if you can just take one extra breath before you get into this. <clears throat> And then you've got to be planting your hands. <laughs> Immediately get it back up right. And I feel in the sweep your left knee back to meet the right knee. Tabletop and pausing there without any movements. It's nice of the after effects. And the body. <clears throat> your mental state. Even in your emotions, feelings. When you're ready, I invite you to take any movement that you feel inspired to take, even if it doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's some little hip wiggles, or some fire hydrant circles with the left hand. You can get to take what feels right in your body. When you're ready, sit back in your child's pose one more time. Bring your butt back towards your heels. Bring the belly down over your thighs, creeping your fingertips out long overhead. Just noticing how everything feels here. When you're ready, slowly, gently making your way over onto your back. <clears throat> Lay down flat on your back. You can use your hands to lift your head up like you can decompress your neck for a moment before setting it back down. Releasing your arms out to the sides. Even when you're big in breath. As you exhale, so the main tension you're still holding on to. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
me after if I can be the entire session. Ready. Breathing yourself back into your body with a big. And slowly, gently making your way onto your right hand side into a fetal position, putting your knees in towards your chest, 
is supporting you. Hey, everyone. <coughs> Breathing in the left side of your rib cage. Feeling out the Texas is open. Practice. You're ready, making your way up to a seated position, any meditation position. If you're crossing your legs, pull the opposite leg in first this time. <clears throat> Put your hands back, untucking your hips one butt cheek at a time. Keep a happy trail. Long spine, open heart, and zip in rib cage. Gaze lifted. Go of any unintended tension. Inhaling your arms out to the side, all the way up overhead. And exhale, bringing your palms together in the heart center. To close out today's practice. Bring this energy with you throughout the rest of the day and into this week. We stay in yoga, I see myself, and you I see in myself. Namaste. Thank you very much for practicing today. This has been a one hour release, actually, not a release, it's been a reset uh, session, which we practice in men's yoga transformation for the first four weeks of that transformation program, where we're totally transforming in body, mind, and spirit. If you want more of this, there's a bunch on YouTube. And if you need more help with anything, feel free to just reach out and let me know. And I'll see you here, same time, same place, next time.